Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to return back to the US and take a look at one of their meal cold weathers. Now this particular one is the menu 2 beef stroganoff with noodles. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So, as you can see, I now have here on the table this MCW, or Meal Cold Weather. Um, this one is made by the Warnick Company in Cincinnati. And it's like the dark brown US MRE bags, but obviously this is the cold weather, so it's white. It has a peelable seal. So, let's get this open and see what it actually contains. Now, sometimes these work and sometimes they don't. And that one failed miserably, so it looks like we need to bring in an old friend, the old trusty knife, and we'll just slip that across the top there. So, what does this MCW actually contain? So, what have we got? Straight off the top, we have a packet of cranberries sliced. I'm not sure about the dates on this, so see if there's a date code. So 3339, so this is quite an old one. It is the 339th day of 2013, so it's a 2013 ration. So let's keep that in stock there. There is a chocolate sports bar. We have a nut and raisin mix. We have the mains which is the freeze-dried stroganoff with beef noodles. Let's bring those up a little bit, they're just coming out of shot there to keep them all in focus. We have the standard meal cold weather accessory pack which we shall open and have a look at in a moment. We have the customary MRE spoon and a beverage base powder. This particular time, in the reflection there, it's cherry. So, let's try and get those in. This is the contents of the US Meal Cold Weather from 2013, menu number two beef stroganoff with noodles. So, let's get these on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, I now have the contents of this meal cold weather laid out on the tray, and I normally like to start with the drinks, but because this is a cold weather, the main menu is actually dehydrated, so I'm going to start with this because it requires 10 minutes of rehydration, and this is the freeze-dried stroganoff with beef noodles. It asks for 16 fluid ounces of boiling water or hot water, so we'll just use a knife to open the top. I couldn't see any sort of tear notch there. Oops. Let's get my bin a little bit behind today. And let's see what we have in here. And as you can see, it's a nice freeze-dried looking combination. I can see noodles and various other items in there. So I'll just give it a little bit of a break up. And it does ask for 16 fluid ounces. I have pre-measured that into a measuring jug. And I think, like all of these, it's probably best to add most of it first off, but not all of it, until we have an indication of whether that's too much. You can always add more water, you can't take it back out. So we'll just give that a good mix with the MRE spoon. So this is a 2013 menu, so it's a few years old now, seven years old, so it'll be interesting to see how it stands up. Let's give that a good, good mix round. It looks a little bit soupy there, so it's probably a good job I didn't add all of the water at this stage. And we'll just fold the lid down on that and give it the required 10 minutes to do its thing. Now, 
while that's doing its thing I think we shall have a look at the accessory packet so this is the MCW meal cold weather accessory pack and 325th day of 2013 on the date stamp there so standard looking accessory pack we have a coffee instant type 3 there is a little packet of Tabasco sauce we have a non-dairy creamer a sugar a moist towelette some TP I'll just put that to one side hopefully you won't be needing that just yet there is the standard book matches and these ones are red tip again put that to one side and the, and the customary spearmint or mint gum so let's now crack on and go back to the coffee instant type 3 and I'm going to make this one straight as I like it with, with the creamer and the sugar but for those of you not have seen a type 3 it's a medium looking roast quite large granule we should add the creamer all these have stood up very well for seven years of age and we'll also add the sugar and because I've got stroganoff on that spoon I do have another USMRE spoon soft the sets I'm getting quite a large collection of these so a standard looking three mix there we'll bring in some hot water for that one and again to give it the best chance I'm only going to give it about half a mug of water looking instant coffee and now we have the other beverage and this is a cherry beverage base powder now it does say fill the bag with 12 ounces of water but I have a mug here so I'm just going to use the mug again can't see a tear strip so just bringing my old friend to help along a little bit now this one is a cherry flavor I've not had many cherry flavoured US beverages, so it'd be a nice, interesting one for me to try. Very nice, fine cherry coloured powder there. And make sure I get the cold water, not the hot. We should just give this a full glass, which is slightly less than the 12 ounces, half a pint. So it should just strengthen it up a little bit. Good stir. And again, just rinse that spoon. So, we'll keep going. We'll have a look at the cranberries sliced. Nice little or large pack. Just tear open there. a few of those out I think that will do for demonstration purposes for this one we those to one side and then we also have a nut raisin mix this one does have some tear strips so we'll open the nut raisin mix and again a nice mixture of different types of nuts there out comes the oxygenator so again we'll just empty a few Remove the oxygen, that's about half of that pack. Let's move that to one side there. We shall now have a look at the sports chocolate bar. So a nice looking dark chocolate energy bar there. And again, just put that to one side for now. And I think we should just have a look at this stroganoff, see how that's doing. Seems to be rehydrating. 
this. I think I did right by not putting all of the mixture, all of the water in at this stage. It seems to be rehydrating nicely. I will add a little bit more. There is still a good couple of ounces of water left here, so as I say, you can always add, you can't take away. So give that another mix around. We seal that back up, and again we'll come back to that when it's had a few more minutes to do its thing. So while we're waiting for the mains, let's have a look at some of these sides. So we'll start off with the coffee, instant type 3. Mm. As I've said many times before, I've had these a few times before. Unfortunately, I don't think the US um, MREs and MCWs include a top quality coffee. Certainly not top quality is a recognisable instant coffee drink so for that purpose a taste of home and just about adequate but again certainly not a quality coffee by any means just sufficient to give you a taste of home when you need it and have a look at the cherry drink now usually these are highly chemicalised and in flavour so let's have a little taste of this mm. again Another natural taste in cherry. I would say more of a taste of an almond. Um, we have almond paste or marzipan which we use on cakes a lot here in the UK. It does taste to me more like an almond paste or a marzipan flavour. But despite that, it's a pleasant, pleasant tasting um, drink. Personally, I think it's one of my Best, uh, preferred ones. I do like the lemon and lime. I think this is a close second out of the US rations there. Again, I wouldn't normally eat the sides first, but this just takes a few more minutes. So I'm going to have a look at some of these sliced cranberries. So they're obviously obviously dried, dried cranberries like a raisin. Hmm. Very much like a raisin. They're sweet, soft, um, they have actually got a little bit of tartness to them. Very natural flavoured, don't feel like they've been sweetened with artificial sweetness. Nice, tasty, very much like a raisin or sultana in taste and texture. Very nice, very good quality. Despite being in the bag seven years, more than more than edible, more than tasty. Let's have a look at some of these nuts and raisin mix. Again, there is peanuts there. I can see almonds. I can see walnuts. Um, some of the raisins there. The raisins do look a little bit dry now. They look like they might be past their best slightly. Maybe because the dried nuts have taken away their moisture. But we'll try a little piece of. A walnut, plain simple walnut, no salt, no flavouring, raw nut, same with the almonds, mm -hmm. stood the test of time, good quality, plain simple nuts, peanut, the same, good quality still, test Stuck the test of time. Now these raisins do look a little bit shriveled. Mm. I suspected, and by the look, they're not as fresh as the nuts themselves, but they're still edible. They're still, they're still an enjoyable part of the mixture. Very nice, very tasty, and definitely stood the test of time. Apart from the raisins there. I will try another mouth cleanser there. I must have had close to 10 minutes now, so I'll take a look at this stroganoff. Get another stir. I think that's looking about right there. So we'll empty it out into the tray. It's a large portion, very large portion. 
these MCWs do seem to give a, a larger portion size. Cold weather, you need a bit more. Need a bit more food to keep you warm. I think I did right there, right amount of water. So while I'm here, let's have a look at this stroganoff. I can see some mushrooms, I can see some pasta. There's supposed to be beef in there, so let's have a taste of this. Mm. Creamy, soft, that is rehydrated perfectly. It's um, soft, and you wouldn't know that is a freeze dried meal. Mm. Creamy, right amount of salt, pepper. Personally, I don't think that needs anything else adding to it. There is some little mushrooms there. Let's try some of the mushroom. Mm. Nice rehydration. A little bit of the ground pork, uh, beef, sorry. Mm. Definitely beef. The texture is there. Plenty of it. Very nice. Very tasty. Very creamy. Very enjoyable. Personally, I don't think I'd like the hot sauce on there, Tabasco, but I have some, so I'm going to add a little just to try. The creamy texture of the stroganoff, for me, is certainly adequate. So I'll just have a little bit of the Tabasco. I'm not going to go overboard with it, just to see if it does improve things, because I'm quite happy to heat this, and this will become my lunch, or early, early lunch. Try some of the Tabasco. Certainly adds a little bit more of a peppery kick. Those people that really enjoy the heat kick would appreciate the use of that. It does complement, it does give it a nice peppery, fiery kick. Mm. But in this case, personally, I think it was better in its original form, just creamy and rich. Mm. Both ways, enjoyable. Most people would enjoy that meal. Let's have another drink of the cherry there. And finally, the chocolate sports bar. So it's quite, quite soft. Little bits firm in texture. Breaks apart easily. Mm. Crispies. Chocolatey, sweet, tasty. It does taste like there's quite a high cocoa content in there. Very nice, very chocolatey, very sweet, um, chocolate rich energy bar. So, quick taste of the coffee again. I will use the wet nap in this instance. Um, just because I genuinely have got sticky hands. Again, I think these have been seen universally many times before now in the reviewing world. So, a very simple moist towelette. Not overly strong, but it's moist. It does wipe. It does take away that stickiness. Also, I should imagine it would disinfect, kill any of those germs and bugs. The gum, again, I'm going to f actually finish this meal. So in this instance, I won't be trying this. I've tried it many, many times. This one being white is the spearmint or the mint flavour gum. Usually good quality gum, crispy shell, nice, tasty, mint flavour, mouth refreshing. If it was in the red packet, it'd be cinnamon, but this is the mint. I am going to eat that, but I'll eat it after I've eaten the rest of this meal. So, very quick recap. The coffee, type 3, instant, is just that, middle of the road, instant, not top quality, but it is a taste of coffee and a reminder of home when you might need it at most. For me, cherry, um, tastes more like an almond than a cherry to me personally. I still think it's one of the better of the US um, beverage powders. Um, this and the lemon and lime I think are now my two favourite. It's... It's a, it's a pleasant, artificial flavoured 
but enjoyable cold drink the cranberries very much like the raisins um, in flavour and in texture a little bit on the tart side not been overly sweetened and I think would mix well you could mix them with the nuts which have survived well the cranberries have actually survived better than the raisins but a little mix of them all mm. the cranberries add some extra sweetness and certainly go in their nut and raisin mix the stroganoff I'm surprised how good it actually tastes in its plain form it's rich it's creamy then beef is reconstituted the mushrooms are reconstituted the whole thing has reconstituted nicely no hint that it is once a dehydrated meal mm. very tasty very creamy certainly going to finish this after the review this is going to form my lunch the Tabasco did add some heat and my own personal note taste didn't think it needed it but anybody that does like the fiery kick certainly the Tabasco gives it a nice lift and the chocolate bar the chocolate sports bar nice tasty a lot of cocoa a lot of chocolate flavor very enjoyable very filling so I'm gonna leave it here overall a very enjoyable meal cold weather this was the menu two beef stroganoff with noodles I would certainly have this again so I'm gonna leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye